What's going on, Combat Sports fans? We've got a prediction and preview here for UFC 208 with Ryan LaFleur versus Rowan Carino. Um, and this one is going to be a really fun fight, and I'm looking forward to it as welterweight fights. Uh, welterweight division is one of my favorites. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure to punch that subscribe button down below into submission and punch the bell to be notified when new videos are uploaded. Here Joe's commentary and predictions. I'm Crazy Joe. We got Big Dog Jimmy here and Creepy Zeke hanging out back there. All the three of us are going to be giving our predictions on the fight and then get into some preview information on the fight. Uh, here we go. I am going to be going with Ryan LaFlair to win it by KOTKO in the third round. Big Dog Jimmy, he's going with a submission victory for Rowan Carino to win it in the, um, what round? I you just believe he's going to end up submitting him somewhere. I wish you would tell me what round, because that would make it better. Uh, Creepy Zeke, though, he thinks that we're going to see Ryan LaFlair end up submitting Rowan uh, in this fight. He thinks he's going to pick up a submission victory over Rowan. So that's pretty interesting. I'm going with a KOTKO. Uh, where me and Creepy Zeke are in agreement on the flair of Ryan LaFlair winning the fight, but Big Doug Jimmy disagrees with both of us, and he's going with Rowan Carino uh, to win this fight. So let us know down in the comment section down below your thoughts and opinions. Do you agree with Crazy Joe, me, with Ryan LaFlair winning by KOTKO? Do you agree with Creepy Zeke to win it by submission for Ryan over Rowan? Or do you think Big Dog Jimmy's right with Rowan win it by submission? Uh, let us know down in the comment section down below. Now let's get into some information on these fighters. Ryan LaFlair has got 12 wins with only one loss. And Rowan, he has got 21 wins with 10 losses. So that's very interesting. He's got a lot of wins. He's been fighting for quite some time. This is his second stint in the UFC, uh, as he's been in the UFC before. Uh, with the uh, reach, we've got it even for both of them, with the, the reach with the arms and the legs. Uh, you know, but we have Ryan with the height at 73 inches being um, 6'1", and Rowan is 5'11", so uh, it's pretty interesting that they have the same reach, even though he's a couple inches taller than he is, so that will be interesting to see where things go with that. Now, uh, Rowan, he was with the UFC before, back in 2007, and he uh, was um, didn't have that great of a run then, as he did, though, win his debut in the UFC by unanimous decision, then he lost to John Finch via re naked choke. Then he won a TKO. Then he lost a, a, a triangle choke and then a split decision, and that was that. And then he went and fought in different, a bunch of different organizations. And he eventually came back to the UFC at UFC uh, 184 in 2015 and beat Mark Munoz by a rear naked choke. Then Derek Brunson knocked him out with a KO in the first round at UFC Fight Night 83. Kenny Robertson uh, lost to him via split decision. Well, Rowan beat Kenny Robertson via, uh, by split decision at UFC Fight Night 94. Uh, he has got quite a few different types of submission victories in his arsenal. With He's got multiple rear naked chokes, a straight arm bar, um... Let's see the triangle. Oh no, he lost via the triangle choke on that one. He does have an arm triangle choke uh, victory, uh, anaconda choke submission uh, by strikes, which is really a TKO, right? And let's go. It's like I quit. Let's stop punching me in the face. I quit. <laughs> and then I can see that being a submission. But then we go. Um, also, he uh, for Rowan, he's got two wins. It says here by KO TKO, 11, uh, 10 by submission, which really I think that wouldn't that be 11 by submission and one by KO TKO. Anyways, and then he's got nine victories by decision, three losses by KO TKO, four losses via submission, and three losses by decision. And we go to Ryan Lafleur, his lone loss. His only loss in his pro career is by decision. So if Big Dog Jimmy's correct and Rowan's able to submit Ryan LaFleur, then that would be his first 
uh, finish loss in his career. It would be in the submission column, but it would be the first time that Ryan LaFleur has finished in a fight if Rowan is able to do it, uh, which I don't see happening, and neither does cre uh, Creepy Zeke back there. Uh, Ryan LaFleur has four wins by KOTKO, three by decision, five by decision, and then he's got, uh, he's on a one-fight, one streak at the Ultimate Fighter Season 22 finale by unanimous decision. He lost to Damian Maya, the submission backpack ninja. The dude is a nasty uh, UFC Fight Night 62 in the main event, unanimous decision, uh, which is very impressive when you go against Damian Maya and Damian Maya isn't able to submit you. That says something about your uh, submission defense. So, and then he uh, defeated John Howard. Uh, by decision, Court McGee by decision, Santiago Ponzinibbio by decision, uh, Ben Alloway by decision. He has a he has, since he's been in the UFC, all of his fights have gone to the distance to the decision. He hasn't been able to submit anybody in the UFC yet, and I believe that's going to change at UFC 208. Uh, he has an armbar victory by submission, another armbar, and another armbar. Um, when I'm going with the TKO, I mean, uh, Creepy Zeke's going with the submission, but I could see a submission happening, but I think he's going to get that finished with the KO, TKO. Uh, he's got a KO in the first round, TKO in the first round, KO in the second round, TKO in the first round, and, um, you know, so it, you could say, like, I'm probably wrong on the round, but it's probably going to happen in the first round, more likely than the second, but Rowan is such a tough dude that I think it's going to take Ryan three rounds to get the W and the TKO. Uh, let us know your opinion, thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Punt, punch the subscribe button into submission. Uh, peep any of the videos out if they look interesting, and make sure to punch the bell to be notified when new videos are up, and slap the like button, share the video with your family and friends. Thanks for watching.